I think within 10 days or two weeks, we'll really start to see some snow on the valley bottoms. Residents of Kelowna awoke to a fresh dusting of snow Tuesday morning. A system that moved through the central and north Okanagan brought white stuff from the tree line to the valley bottom. That storm was really weak though, it didn't drop a lot of snow uh, and in the very bottom of the valley it didn't really collect yet, the roads were still quite warm. There's another system coming for Thursday and we're really watching the track of that one because and the timing on it because if it does the same sort of thing and comes during the coldest time of day or if the low comes close to Kelowna and not too far north, then we might actually get a very much bigger dump of snow, like several centimeters as opposed to just the skiff we had. With the threat of snow in town and no longer just on the mountain passes, drivers are rushing to the tire shops to ensure they have the proper tread. However, many are still wondering whether it's worth it to make the switch from all season to winter tires. So the biggest difference between an all-season tire and an all-weather tire or a winter tire is its ability to stay pliable when it gets cold. So at 7 degrees Celsius or colder, uh, an all-season tire is going to start to harden up and it's going to lose some of its braking and its lateral stability. But even if you've decided on a winter tire, there are several options depending on where you're traveling this snowy season. A higher end tire like a Michelin or a Nokian or a Blizzak, you're going to get uh, just more sipes and a much better traction in the slush and the snow, whereas something a little bit more affordable will have a harder, more an all-season rubber compound. They work really well in winter in snow, but typically on hard compact, you don't see the same type of traction that you do out of a like, premium ice radial. RCMP are enforcing winter tires on all mountain passes, but if you do happen to get in an accident without proper seasonal rubber, your insurance may not be affected. So if you're driving with winter tires and you get into a crash, it doesn't automatically mean that you're at fault. However, if you get in a crash and winter tires could have helped, it may affect whether or how much you are at fault for that crash. As for the rest of this winter, it's a Lenata year, meaning expect a little bit of everything this season. One thing yeah. I can rule out, it's warmer than average, either yeah, close, to, close to average or cooler, cooler than average. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.